Hey guys, in this video we will talk about fluid bed coffee roastings and for that reason we are visiting our partner from Typhoon Roasters. So let's get inside and have coffee first. Typhoon Coffee is a Czech branch of Russian company producing coffee roasters for almost 20 years. They are among pioneers in the fluid bed coffee roasting technology and we met Daniel Samsonov who is in charge of business operation here in the Czech Republic. Okay, so we just get a double espresso from Nicaragua that was roasted on one of these two machines, I don't know which one. 25 kilo. And we are having with Daniel, who is actually showing us and telling us about the fluid bed coffee roasting technology here at Typhoon Coffee. This space was opened in November 2020 and serves as a cafe and showroom with two roasting machines on display and a production area and training room. In a sense, you can see the roasting machines in action and also taste Typhoon coffee on the bar. All that is packed in a design inspired by the Great Gatsby team. Of course, we are the most excited to learn how the coffee roasting machines work. So this is basically where all the magic happens. The roaster itself is not such a complicated thing. The way it works, it gets the air from the bottom of the machine. The air drives through the heating elements and it gets straight to the roasting chamber where all the magic happens, where our coffee is being roasted. Our technology is called fluid bed because when the coffee is being roasted, it's like it's flying all over the roasting chamber and it's like the bed of air. As we learned, fluid bed coffee roasting is a relatively new technology that has been around for 10 to 15 years. We are curious to ask about the customers who have been using traditional drum roasters but got interested in this new technology. Why are they switching? What they are looking for when they, are, they uh, want to start with fluid bed? First of all, they are interested in how this works because it's a completely different way of roasting your coffee. You cut the time uh, in half and you also cut the temperature in half. And people are wondering, how can you roast the coffee if you are not increasing the temperature and you're even cutting the time in half? And uh, basically the whole process is possible because uh, the process of transferring the heat and the energy to the core of the coffee, it's more efficient. And instead of heating up the metal and then transferring this heat to a coffee, as it's been uh, used in the drum roasters, we use the heated air to transfer the heat to the core of the coffee. We use 170, 180, and that is why our coffee has been roasted in a more gentle way. And our coffee has less defects compared to classic drum roasting technology. External cyclone is this thing, the black one, and it works as an external filter. It basically, during the roasting process, it will collect all the shells from the coffee, all the small rubbish which can eventually be in your coffee bag and you won't be cleaning it beforehand before the roasting. If not for this thing, if the chaff gets to the heating elements, it can cause a fire or the burning. Okay, so it's while, while actually air goes through the coffee bed, so it's a yeah. yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's basically, air, right? it's transferring the airflow like all around the roaster and because the coffee itself is heavier than the chaff, it will collect only the chaff and not the coffee. So the coffee stays here in the roasting chamber and all the rubbish gets away. In the bottom of the roaster we have, let's say, the brains of the machine where all the electronics and all the mechanisms are stored. So we only get there once something is going the wrong way. <laughs> so hopefully... Not you, very often. Yeah, not very often, yeah. This regulator is the airflow. Basically, it will enable you to either get more air to the roasting chamber or less air. So if you move on to another parts of the roaster here, you have also a small window so you can uh, track the roasting process from here. You can get the samples of coffee, so I guess it's a pretty common thing in the roasters. This court will uh, gather all the data which you will eventually see in the controlling panel. Once the roasting process is done, you just open up the chamber unload the coffee to the cooling tray and here your, your freshly roasted coffee will be mixed up and it will be cooled from the bottom with the cooled air. Once you're done with coffee you just unload this thing and then you can collect the freshly roasted coffee. Like when we first saw like the opening of the, of the roasting chamber was very unusual. Given the construction of the roaster, we, uh, that we are not roasting in a chamber, like the classic drum roasters. So basically this was the only solution which came to our mind when we were designing the roaster itself, like in the first place. If you think about it, how you can unload the coffee which has been roasted like in a horizontal position, there is no other way 
just this one. The back of the rotor, where we have all the motors, that one here and one here for external, one for basically one for the roasting chamber and one for external cyclone. We have two pipes which are leaving out the smoke and the chaff from the whole process. And that's basically it. Maybe the last thing, so next there is a like smaller, so 2.5 kilo. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can tell us just briefly what was the difference? Yeah. I mean, uh, basically, of course, it's a batch, batch size difference. This one will only roast 2.5 kilo and this one will go for 5 kilo. And the main difference is uh, the existence of external cyclone. Uh, basic models of 2.5 roasters are only with chaff collector. This is this thing, which will basically you will have to clear it up manually after each batch. So it's not as sophisticated as an external cyclone. Our upper limit is 2.5 kilo. This is like a standard batch size. Uh, the lower limit is somewhere around 300 grams. For example, if you're just trying the new coffee or you want to, you don't, you simply don't want to roast the whole batch. You can use the minimum of 300 grams. During the tour, Daniel told us they are waiting for the new nine kilo roaster for their main production. What's interesting is that 9 kilo, as well as bigger 15 or 30 kilo Typhoon roasters, are hybrid coffee roasting machines. That means that you can switch between traditional drum coffee roasting and fluid bed coffee roasting using only one machine. Basically, this hybrid option uh, enables you to get the best out of the two worlds from the classic drum roasters because they also enable you to roast for a good espresso, for example, and you can uh, get all the benefits of the fluid bed roasters. Now, if you look into the history of the company, over 20 years ago there was the first prototype of the big industrial roaster. The first prototype of the 2.5 kilo shop roaster was created over 10 years ago. At the moment, you can pick from five roasting machines ranging from 2.5 to 30 kilos capacity. The production is located in Russia, but until the end of 2021, part of the manufacturing is moving to the Czech Republic. So this is like another big step for us after the showroom was opened we started to think how we can uh, make this production cycle here locally. Like the main idea of the first prototypes was how we can enable the roasters to work the way we want them to work. But over the years, we've started thinking more about the design. We've changed the whole face of our roasters. So it won't be looking like an industrial machine, which is only supposed to roast the coffee. It will be looking as a good part of the interior of your cafe or showroom or whatever you want to put the roaster. We can confirm that the visual of the roasting machine is eye-catching, especially if you consider that you can customize the colors of the most external parts of the roaster to fit your branding or interior of the space. Typhoon Coffee is open to the public as a cafe and showroom, so if you are interested and want to learn more about the technology, just come to grab a cup of coffee and take a look. Like, this is the progress of coffee roast and a lot of, a lot of people from coffee industry, they came to conclusion that basically this is the future of the industry. So, but of course you will need some time to persuade the people that this technology is worth it. So.